Peace. My name is Haven, but listen, today I got to do this video. This video is about Tariq Nasheed um, battling with somebody on Twitter because of the trademark African American. Because somebody brought up the FBA's trademark and he brought up African American as trademark too. And then the person switched the subject because they guessed they couldn't defeat Tariq in this battle and he declared victory and a bunch of the FBA group polls declared victory. But now it's my turn to bring some correction because you know I'm the author of correction. Well, anyway, family, make sure you like this video, share this video, make sure you comment on the video, watch it to the end, subscribe to my channel and donate to me if you can. Now, is Tariq right? He is right. But let's get into this because we're going to go to the trademark website. African-American. That's the word. But that's not what's actually trademark. It's African-American written this way with this design that is trademark. This person has no ownership over the word African-American. It's African-American with this design. This person could not come to me if I had a, Af I put African-American on a t-shirt and hit me with a cease and desist order. They could not do that. I don't know why people didn't just read and they would have seen that that's the case. Well, anyway, let's go to Tariq's latest trademark for FBA. Foundational black American. What does it say here? Disclaimer. No claim is made to the exclusive right to use black Americans apart from the mark as shown. Why did Tariq have to do that? Because like I told you before, you cannot trademark an actual quote unquote lineage. You can't trademark an ethnicity. You can't trademark a nationality. So he could not trademark African, I mean, black American. That's why I said he came up with foundational black American because he could trademark it and he could own it. And as you can see right here, Tariq acknowledged himself that he is not laying any exclusive right to black American. Why? Because if he had said he was, that they would have clipped this because they'd have been like, no, you can't do that because that's actually a people and you can't trademark a people. But you can trademark foundational black Americans. So this is even Tariq right here acknowledging that foundational black American is a group. It's a group. Because if it's not a group, you couldn't get the trademark through. And that's why you had to even let it be known that, listen, I'm not making no exclusive ownership to just black American. I'm only talking about foundational black American. And as you can see, the trademark is for the word. Not no design, not no stylized version, just the phrase itself. Because that's the name of his group. See, I went again. I went again. And family, this is why it's so important to support me. And this is why it's so important to get your information from me. Because I am the source of all the information that you see that comes out that's anti-FBA, anti-ADOS, anti-Freeman, that is accurate. I am the source of that. So again, Tariq, you were wrong. I was right. Um... The guy who was tweeting at Tariq, you might want to use this video. And I'm going to end this video here. Like, share, subscribe, drop me a comment. Would you tell me what you think? And on that note, family, peace.